Suddenly, a loud crash. A dish falls on the floor in your kitchen. Your dog barks and more things fall and smash. Your feet feel unsteady on the ground. What's happening? It's an earthquake and you need to act fast. If you don't, you could get injured, trapped, or worse. So, how do you survive an earthquake? Well, here's how to do it. Earthquakes can happen anywhere, at any time. The Earth's outer crust is made of tectonic plates floating on the planet's upper mantle. The edges of these plates, called fault lines, are where most earthquakes occur. When the plates butt up against each other and get stuck, that causes pressure to build up. Once the plates move again, that's when an earthquake happens. Most of the world's earthquakes happen in an area called the Ring of Fire. In fact, 80% of earthquakes happen in this area along the Pacific Ocean. The Ring of Fire includes countries in Asia like Japan, Indonesia and the Philippines. Some of these countries have earthquakes as often as a few times per month. The damage that earthquakes can do includes everything from tearing up roads to fires, landslides, avalanches and tsunamis. To be an earthquake survivor, it's best to start before an earthquake even happens. Get prepared beforehand. First, secure large items like TVs so that they're unlikely to fall. And store your heavy and breakable belongings on low shelves. Second, practice drop, cover and hold on with your family. Drop to your hands and knees, cover your head with your arms and hold on to heavy furniture until the earthquake stops. Third, make a family emergency plan for where you'll meet if you're separated. Fourth, get yourself a supply box and fill it with water, food and medication. Toss in a flashlight. Don't forget your phone charger and a whistle. Fifth, consider buying earthquake insurance for your home if you aren't already covered. Now for the main event. During an earthquake, do what you practiced. Drop, cover and hold on. If you're in a car, pull over. If you're indoors, do not stand in a doorway. Once thought to be the safest place in an earthquake, a doorway is no stronger than any other part of a building. After an earthquake, stay alert. There will be aftershocks, which are much smaller tremors. If you're in a damaged building, get outside and move away from it. If you've been trapped in a falling building, try to stay calm. Cover your mouth to keep debris from getting into your airway. Send a text if you can, bang on a pipe or use a whistle to get a rescuer's attention. If you're near a large body of water, go inland and up to higher ground right after the major shaking has ceased. After an earthquake is when the tsunamis happen. Do not enter damaged buildings. If your radio, TV or smartphone are still working, check for emergency information and instructions. If you want to help, then keep yourself safe while doing so. Do not try to lift heavy debris by yourself and wear protective clothing when volunteering in a rescue or cleanup. Earthquakes are dangerous, but if you follow this advice, you have an excellent chance of walking away unscathed.